Привет всем, дорогие друзья. Как я рад вас видеть. Драгоценные бизнесмены, сегодня я хочу сказать вам, Бог... Hello, everyone. Dear friends, how glad I am to see you, precious businessmen. Today, I want to tell you God has big plans for your life. And I want to tell each of you that I believe for you. I pray for you every day. At night, I beg God to work miracles in your life. The most important thing is that He ignites you inside with the fire of saving people. This is a thirst for the salvation of people, so that for this you go to any lengths to earn money, to bring this money to the footstool of God. To glorify the footstool of His Scripture, He says, he says about this chapter 6, he says, I will glorify my footstool. You know, I sometimes think about it, and I think that there are people who will do everything in their lives so that only God is glorified, so that His anointing works today. Someone must sacrifice, someone must have a goal. Someone must have a clear goal of making money for a particular project. Today, in order to do a project, we see that it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. But, there are people to whom God puts his whole heart, and open heart ignites it with its fire shares its burden. Do you know why the anointing might not be on a person? The anointing for businessmen may not be on a person, on his mind for only one reason, because he is not dedicated to a specific goal, not specifically dedicated to a relationship with God. This is the problem in this grief in this, the whole problem that exists. It is necessary today to realize that everything begins even with the relationship with God. From what you say, God I want, I want to have a relationship with you. I want to glorify your name. I love you. You see, when a businessman, he makes money, he even gives money, but he doesn't pray, he doesn't yearn for a relationship with God, he neglects a relationship with the Holy Spirit. How can you not understand, God, he owns all the money. He owns everything that is only on earth, and you must understand what is the most important thing that should be in your life. You have to go and kneel and pray, beg God to fill your heart with his burden, to fill your heart with his love for people, the love of Christ. Scripture says whoever does not love the Lord Jesus Christ will be excommunicated forever. That's what Paul says. That's what the Word of God says to every one of you needs to realize. You just need to realize that today is the time to pray, the time to set a goal in life, to glorify the name of Jesus. The goal in life is for this anointing that has come to fall on me, on Victoria. When we pray, the Holy Spirit moves, and people come to know the living God, not religion or theology, but the living God. They enter into a relationship with God. Brothers, sisters, my dear businessmen, must give everything. I'm not talking financially now. I speak for the soul. Whoever loses his soul for me will find it. God bless you richly, and I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the fire of the Holy Spirit fill your souls. I bless you, amen.